when the killer realizes his murder was recorded by Red Tree Stories. It got dudes sitting up in an interrogation room, so I guess, you know, there's gonna be people coming into the interrogation room and letting them know, like, yo, we got you on camera, dog. You can't even lie your way up out of this one. You about to hold this sentence, baby. So we about to go ahead and check out this video, man. The original link is down in the description if y'all wanna see the original video. Now, without further ado, let's get it. This is 23-year-old Dominique Davis. Okay. Dominique has just been arrested for murder by the <coughs> Fort Worth, Texas Police Department. On January 8th, 2022, police responded to a shooting a little after 2 p.m. When they arrived All on the right. scene, they found the body of 23-year-old Curtis Sims lying on the ground. Damn. The police were able to find surveillance cameras in the area that had recorded what had happened. Oh. The footage showed Dominique executing Curtis with a handgun while he was lying on the ground. Oh. Dominique was quickly arrested and brought in for interrogation. Literally execution style. Hey, Dominique. I'm Detective Sullivan, man. We didn't get an opportunity to meet each other out there today. Uh, but I'm the detective that's going to be handling this investigation, okay? Um, no, and he already I'm seen the footage. Housework done here. Let's see. He's trying to act relaxed, sitting back today with his head, with his, with his chin in his January hand. January the 8th, 2022. You know you the did it. now is approximately 17.08 or 5.08 p.m. Homicide interview room. I'm Detective Sullivan. This is Detective Anderson, my partner. Dominic, what is your last name? Davis. Do you understand what's going on? All right. So, he said no. <laughs> uh, you are under arrest right now for the charge of murder. Mm -hmm. I understand you may have made a statement to an officer when he got on scene that uh, you took a gun from somebody and stuff like that. I'm trying to act nonchalant. I don't know. That's what I'm here to talk about mm -hmm. you about. But based on the investigation so far, I believe that uh, you're responsible for a murder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh if there's any claims of self-defense you want to be had, I'd love to hear you talk about it and stuff, but that's mm -hmm. up to you. Uh, since you are under arrest for murder, I have to read you your Miranda warnings, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, right, okay. Walking. Oh, wait a second. Do you, would you like to talk to me today? Yeah, I'll talk to you, okay, but I'm okay. not going to say much. Okay, okay well, that's up to you. I mean, so long as you say... <laughs> I'm not going to say much. Hey, we ain't... It ain't going to be too much pausing in this video because... We got we want we gonna listen to what these people got to say, but y'all know I don't really like doing reactions where I just sit on the side and don't say shit, because like I said, man, a lot of people already try to accuse reaction videos of being content theft anyway, which they're not. A reaction video is 100% fair use, but if I'm just gonna sit up on the side and not say nothing, it might as well be content theft. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna speak, but you know I, I've been silent for like the past minute, so I feel like I had to say something. You want to talk to me? We can talk. Okay. I don't Go ahead. It was really Damn. me defending myself. Somebody pulled up. Okay. Got out the car, was trying to fight, flashed their gun a little bit. And uh, once they got to swinging on me, I got closer to their car because, like, you should have just killed me, basically. Okay. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Do you know this person? Yeah, I know that person. Who is it? Uh, it was a friend. Okay. How close are y'all's friends? Okay. He was real close. What happened? Damn. I don't know. Just fell out? Mm -hmm. Y'all grow up together, all that kind of stuff? So y'all was close yeah. friends? Do you think reasons matter for why most people do stuff? Shut up, phone. I think they do. Didn't I just, you okay, didn't just walk up to nobody noise. and do nothing, did you? I didn't walk up to nobody. There you go. Silence. So that could make a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. With this being said is, tell me about the gun. That's important in this thing. I mean... Is this gun your gun? No. No doubt about it, it's not I mean, your it's gun. It's not mine. Okay. Who's, Whose gun is it? It is. The person is dead. Who's that? The person is dead. Curtis? Yeah. How do you know he's dead? They told me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You just told on yourself and you ain't even realize it. The person who's dead. The, the person who's dead. How you know he dead? They told me. No, they ain't tell you shit. <laughs> they ain't tell you shit, bro. You know he dead because you did it. We got your old camera, baby. We got your old camera, but you the one that did the crime, so that's how you know it got done. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we're we just going to go ahead and see how this play out. So, where did you get the gun? From inside his car. From in his car? Mm hmm Can you explain that to me? He was fighting on me, thinking that I was hurt. Uh huh. Because I was like this. Where were you at? Were you inside the car when you were no, fighting, or outside no, the car? I was outside of the okay. car, and he got out of his car. Okay. Okay. Yes. So where did you get the gun? Did you reach into an yeah, open I window? Through the window. The window was down. I reached through the window. Oh, hey man, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm my fault. Uh, yeah, it's all right. I'm sorry. I understand. Hey dude, window. I understand. This is a. Nah. That's a big deal, man. I understand it's a big deal for you. Getting you. real defensive because yeah, you know, he, know he guilty. You know he guilty. Just, let's try to be as calm as we can because I'm just trying to get the information because obviously you know this is recorded. This this interview is recorded. Mm -hmm. There's no secrets. And yeah. I want your story. Not that you wouldn't kind of be getting like 
if you were like being accused of a serious crime that you really didn't commit, you would be like emphatically pleading your case. Like you wouldn't be just calm like, bro, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I don't care what y'all think. I didn't do it. You would be like, bro, it wasn't, not, not, bro, it, it was not me. Like, yo, like, I don't know what to tell. Like, I'm telling y'all the truth. I didn't do it. Like, you would really be emphatic about it. I understand that. But you wouldn't be like getting mad. <laughs> He's getting like, you'd be getting upset, I guess. But like, he, he talk about it. He want to fight this dude. <laughs> and it's like, bro, chill. And again, whole time, you don't even know we got your little stupid ass on camera. You don't, even, you don't even realize. Long okay, story short is, he got out the car trying to fight me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I guess he thought, but I was hurt or something like that because mm -hmm. when he started, I started moving towards his car. But you look like you have an injury on your yeah, eye? Yeah, he hit me. Obviously, we was fighting. Okay. Well, I'm going to need to take some pictures of that stuff. So. Where did you get the gun from the car? In the cup holder. The cup okay. holder. The cup holder. Near the cup holder. So you went into the driver's side or the passenger side? Who keeps that gun in the cup the holder? Okay. Two door. And then you didn't open the door, but you just reached in. Okay. Then what happened? I shot him. How many times? I don't know. Probably two. What happened after you shot it? I called, uh, told the people to call the police. Okay. Did okay. you shot him? How close was he to you? He was close. Was he still swinging at you? What happened? Point blank. As soon as I hit him the first time, he dropped to the ground. Of course. Did you shoot him anymore when he's on the ground, anything like that? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so I wonder how much of this is a lie, because we already know that he shot him execution style. But maybe this first part of the story is true. Maybe he maybe he really did get into a little scuffle with him and shot him and dude fell on the ground, but he didn't die right away, of course. He made he probably needed serious serious medical treatment. Serious medical treatment. God damn it, why am I slurring my words? But he wasn't dead. And then you went over and shot him at excuse style. That's the part you're lying about. Okay. So did he say any comments to you like I'm gonna kill you? Did he say anything like that? I didn't hear too much. Kinda got tunnel vision or whatever that's that true is, that's what i hear so that's believable um, so just so i know that gun does not belong to you Ooh. you have never touched that gun before other than when you got it from his cup holder mm -hmm. is that correct okay i wish that it showed us the Would footage first any problem with me collecting a dna sample from you just so i can prove that mm -hmm. okay uh okay i'm gonna have a little consent here from you and I was just going to say, you can read this. So what, I'm going to jail? You're going to jail, man. Okay. Damn. <laughs> You're going to jail. You're going to jail. That's the thing about it. Just because you get go to jail tonight, don't mean the case is over. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because people look at these cases and stuff. I got to go out there. I understand there may be some video of this fight. If all that stuff checks out for you in the fight, that's going to look good for you in the future, man. Your cooperation uh -huh. you get looks good for you. You know, like people have respect for you and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I wasn't out there. You were out there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to document your injuries. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? If you guys were fighting, I don't know who's getting the better who, who wasn't getting the better who, or anything like that. See, I just uh, want to know if the interrogator has already seen stuff. the footage or All not, man. the information I'm gathering is, you know, pretty much to, to complete. Uh, that just makes it so much funnier if he already has. Dominic. And if you did, if that ain't your gun, because we're going to be, we can tell now the DNA is so good. Is I know you already touched that bottle, but if I touch it too, they can tell who touched it first. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, so okay. Be all oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Forensics that, and all that. That would yeah. go to your claim that you took the gun from his car, right? They can, like, approximate how so, long ago uh, it was. Did you talk? That's crazy. Okay. I'm going to read this to you, and I'll let you have a chance to read it, too. It says, I, Dominic Davis, have been informed by Detective Casey Sullivan, me, of my constitutional right not to have an intrusion made into my body for the purpose of conducting a buckle cheek swab. All we do is go in with a Q-tip and get your cheek. We don't go into your body like with a needle or anything. Okay. Uh, the blood test or hair comparison. A little saliva I'm action. My lawful, um, we're not going to do a uh, blood test. We're not going to do a hair comparison. I'm going to X those out. We're just going to take a cheek sip. Okay. Of my lawful right to refuse to consent to such an intrusion, I willingly give my permission to any qualified person to make such intrusion and withdraw a sufficient amount of buckle cheek swabs, no blood, no hair. <laughs> with which to perform any necessary analysis. Just a lot of action. I give this written permission for a buckle cheek swab test. No blood, no hair. Again, I'm sorry, it's in there. To the above officer voluntarily and with threats of any kind at... The detective asks Dominique okay. if he will consent to a DNA test so they can prove he touched the handgun. And he consented. Dominique will now sign the paperwork to give his consent. After the sample is taken, the detective will begin asking questions about the shooting. More specifically... 
Why did it happen? And was it really self-defense? And you better not be lying about the gun because you just heard what they said, bro. They can determine who touched the gun first. I don't know if his gears started turning trying to figure out a lie, but if, if he touched the gun first, that means that was your gun, bro. You killed dude with your gun. Huh? Y'all wasn't scared, wasn't no scuffle, wasn't no fight. You didn't take his gun from him. It was your shit. Hey, we about to find out. Would you like to read that too, sir, if you agree with that? So, I thought when I first started this video that this whole video is gonna be like a compilation of moments, but I guess this whole video is just this one dude. So, hey. Sign it right there, there's a pin. <clears throat> or maybe there's more, well, I don't know, we'll see. We're only what, seven minutes in, this video 24 minutes long? Did you 25? and, uh, I'm sorry, I don't forget his name, what's his name? The guy you're fighting with? Mm -hmm. Uh, did you guys ever go to school what together? What do you mean you don't like know? That? You said y'all were close. What school did y'all go to? Central. Central? Did you end up graduating? No. You, were, you dropped out? You got Damn. kids, anything like that? Mm -hmm. How many uh, kids you got? Four. One. Boy, girl? Girl. You got a daughter. How old is your little it's girl? tough. Just turned three. Just turned three. They don't even have any gloves in here. Alright. Hey, you actually got looks like there's a little blood or something in there. Huh. Enemy no blood. You cut me. People come up to me out there no, and say, this, the fight. this fight might have been over a girl. Is that ac is that accurate? Mm. Ain't better not be over no girl. Come on, no bro. I don't know. Uh, the girl in particular is. What do you mean you don't know? You don't know why y'all were fighting? Y'all are ready. So the dude just attacked you? That. So you why would he come over, Curtis come over today and try to fight you? No. You have any phone communications with him recently? Damn lie. Him, threatening him, anything like that? Mm -hmm. Nothing like that in your phone? Do you have any problem with us if we download to conduct a forensic download your phone to, to prove that as well for for your sake? Whatever, no, it's up to you, man. No. You don't want me to do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, because I would say if somebody told me that there might have been communications in wow. there where you threatened him, said that you were going to shoot him, I think if those messages aren't in your phone, I think that would be important. But if they are in your phone, I can understand you not wanting to do that as well. So, you, Don't you just know you just hold yourself? Don't you know you just hold yourself? Bro, whenever the, the officers ask, do I have permission to search for this thing? And you say, no, I don't want you to search for it. And you, he literally, when he asked you, you said, man, do whatever, man. And then when he said, well, it's your choice. He's, no, nah, I don't want you to look. You got something in there, brother. And now they're going to find probable cause or they're going to, they gonna, whatever it is that's going to give them permission to search it anyway. And they're probably going to find what they're looking for. This, hey, you're cooked. You do not want me to do that. Okay. Uh, because I'll put it to you like this. Is he just going to leave it alone? Uh, this is leave it alone. We were going to look for evidence there, call, but. Call on tape, man. Oh, okay. I hope you know that. You didn't reach into his car. Yes, I did. No. I was in the window. What are you talking about? I didn't reach into his car. It's not enough. Okay, either way. I don't if, care. if I show you the video. Yeah, show me the video so I can show you where, bro. Because now y'all trying to say I'm lying, bro. So pull up the camera right now. Hey, man. Show me the video so I can show you because obviously y'all didn't see Okay. It. I'll say, I'll even say, give you that, that you reached into the car. I'll say that. Okay. Why did you shoot him while he's on the ground? Ooh. Because. What are you talking about? You Why said you, you told me you did shoot him. How many times was he punching? You're cooked. You're cooked. Now you hiding your face. Whole thing is on video. Now you're trying to argue and fight back with them. And now he's a bro. Okay, so even if I grant you that you reached into the car, you lying. Because I seen the video, bro. I seen the video. You ain't do what you said you did. But even if I grant you that. You got out and finished them off execution style. You have to do that. Why you do that? Cause mm -hmm. now he putting his head back in it. Nah, bro, you're cooked. You're flam blade. You're I say fan blade. You're flam blade, sauteed, deep fried souffle. Is what is what happens. You're going to jail. This ain't important to you, Dominic. <laughs> it is important to me, but like, what is what is what is there? Like, you know what I mean? Bro is dead. Well, now, well, you know well, I mean? well, let me let me like, tell you what it is. If you if you had to make a decision on what happens to you, mm -hmm. does it matter if the person's sorry for what happened? You don't think it does? No, I mean, you think it matters if the person's telling the truth? I'm telling you the truth. Well, from what I can see from the video so far, you're lying. 
What ain't going to look good for you is you going up and executing him when he's on the ground. Mm. Okay. What I'm saying is, would you like to tell anybody about that? Somebody's got to make a decision. I don't make a decision what happens to you. You know that? I just put the facts together, and here you guys go. Judges, juries do this. Yeah. Okay? That's who makes the decision. I think if I had done something wrong, that there's no doubt that Ooh, you hey. pulled the trigger. There's no issue with that whatsoever. Okay? I know that for 100% fact. Mm -hmm. You even admitted it to us. You right, said that. You yes. Go ahead. Where did I get the gun from? I don't know. I think you got it from your waistband. Ooh. As I was going like this, right? I being so, man. Going, right? I, I don't know. That's what it looked like to me. But what that being said is, we're going to have time to go frame by frame by frame. This is just early in the Okay, okay. I can Please show us the footage, just bro. As as I saw, just blur I it out. You reach into the window. I want to see. the opportunity to do that. You know what I'm saying? This from what I saw. Now, hey, keep in mind, when I get all the video downloaded and extract and do this, and we go frame by frame, we'll be able to like, slow it down to where we're like robots watching through there. We'll be able to see how many times everybody hit each other. I don't know uh -huh. that stuff now. So, but I'm saying, is there is there any reason? Because reasons matter for this, man. It looks like, uh -huh. then, is this like, why is he coming over to your place? And I don't know why you don't think it's important that you tell us all this, man, but that's up to you. I'm, I'm not mad at you. you. You know, don't want to tell me the reasons, but I think someone who's going to decide what happens, I think they should know. Because you know why someone, especially someone that you claim to have been close to, or at least you just know them personally, you know why they pulling up to the old crib to try to fight you, bro. Like, come on, man. You know why they doing that. You know why they doing that. You ain't know, somebody just show up randomly and, bro, I was just sitting there in mind of my business, and one of my old friends that I haven't talked to in a while just banged on my door. When I opened the door, he just started swinging at me. Like, bro, that, no. Nigga, there's a rhyme reason behind everything. And sometimes you don't always know the rhyme reason behind thing, but I know you know what's going on here. I know you know. And a matter of fact, I don't even know if this whole story of him pulling up on you is true. We're going to see. Me personally, man. You're not a bad guy, Dominic. Because where does Savannah's footage come today, from? Man. And I, I don't think you're a killer. Might not be a killer, but know, you man. have killed. It's up to you, man. You might be, though. I'm not going to beat you down or waste your time or anything like that. But nah, never mind. I think it's important. That you tell us the you take somebody story, out excuse style what's going you're on, kind of a killer. why he even came over how did he even know you was going to be over at the apartments how is all that i want to know what was in that phone now get that phone data oh yeah drink that water drink that water is again going back if you're getting beat on while you're reaching into the car look at him look at him look at him look at him <laughs> Oh, my bad. My bad for doing that all up in y'all ear. Bro, that is a telltale sign of nervousness, bruh. Because how do we drink water? Where my water at, goddammit? Most of us, we drink water. Because water is not like, water don't have a flavor. It's water, you feel me? So it ain't like soda or juice where you just drink a whole bunch of it. And usually when we drink water, we get a quick little sip of it, you feel me? That man started chugging water, bruh. That's how you know he's nervous. That is a telltale sign of being nervous. Aside from like, you know, just being fatigued or needing, you know, some refreshment because you worked out or some shit. That's nervousness right there, bro. He drinking the hell out that water, ain't he? I, don't know, I, I just found that funny. Any questions, Detective Anderson? So my thing is, again, going back. If you're getting beat on while you're reaching into the car, if that's what you're saying. <laughs> he chugging you, the fuck out that water. The gun, at that point, you fire, correct? Yeah. Okay. What happens to him? What does he do after you fire that one shot? Falls uh, backwards on the ground? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I got the video, too, uh, so I, I can I, see I'm it, asking, because you can only explain your emotions and your reactions at this time. Video shows a lot, but it doesn't show what goes on in your head and what, what mm -hmm. you're thinking at that point. The whole mum's the word thing ain't it right, right now, bro. Mm -hmm. You still have the gun. Explain to me the next step, though, of you shooting another one or two times. Like, like thinking you just going to be, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. From him with that we got you on camera, dummy. He had a gun in his hand when he pulled up. Okay. At that point, and while he, he got out of the, the car, ground, he have a gun? And he got hand. out of the car. You see what I'm saying? I don't take nothing like that. Like, so if you he, got a gun and you making it seem like you're on the threat, bro, I'm not finna, I'm not finna give you no So threat. that's important you should say. So when he got a car, show me with your hands. How do you know he had a gun? When I was, if y'all have, you see what I'm saying though? We can't see like, the car. All right, but listen, hold on. If we, quick. If we had, could see in the car, that would answer your question for sure. The question he we was have. in the car when he came. He was talking through the car. I set my things down. When okay. I set my things down. I look back and see him outside of the car. I thought you said he had the gun in the cup holder. Fighting. I was getting closer to his car because, like, why are you fighting if he was just flashing your gun and stuff like that 
Okay. So, when was he flash? I, I, I may have missed that. So he was flashing the gun while he was still sitting in the car. Early. He had it on his lap right here. When in he the car, up, you yes, he had it on his lap. Yeah, okay. he had it. On okay, so the dude pulled up with a gun. He had it on his lap. He was talking shit to you and threatening you with the gun, but he got out and started throwing hands and left his gun in the car. That don't really match up to me, bro. That don't really make no sense. If I pull up on you with the blick and I'm so adamant on using this blick that I got it in my lap, it's in my lap. I'm not going to, man, fuck this and put the gun in the cup holder, get out and start boxing with you. What? And then I start getting overwhelmed to the point to where you were able to make you were able to make it your way to my car, pick up my gun that I brought for me out of my cup holder, and then shoot me with it. This story just don't sound believable, bro. Like I said, I hope I hope that they show this footage, bro. I want to see it. Like, yeah, uh huh. Woo 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 woo. I don't know what he was saying because I didn't really give a fuck. Okay. I see you got your gun, so obviously you on something. Okay, cool, bro. So I don't care about none of that. You know what I mean? I had guns being pointed at me multiple times. But like, you know what I mean? That don't phase me. Oh, so it's all okay. about what you're going to do with it. So if he got out of his car without his gun, then that was his fault. That's not my fault that I shot him with his own gun because he was threatening me. I thought you said he got out of the car with a gun. Is that not No, true? I did not. I never said oh, okay. that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, he said he had it whenever he pulled up. But when he came yeah, he, out he, car, I was like, he didn't say fight. that he got out of the car. I guess so. We yeah. fought. Y'all fought. Fair fight going. You end up over on the car. You're saying you reach in the car at that time. You get the gun. You fire that one shot. But my question to you is why he's laying on the ground. What and before you fire your other two shots into him, what is his? What is he doing to make you fearful that you need to fire those other two shots? He already came over. There. I didn't have to. I wasn't fearful. I wasn't in fear. Why are you shoot him? Did you need to fire those other? Two why shots? you execute him? No, probably not. Probably Where not. Did you shoot him on those two shots? I know. I shot him in the head. <clears throat> The first shot, Two. I think you shot him in. Uh, in the stomach, right where he was at. Yeah. In the stomach? Uh -huh. If you had done that, shot him in the stomach, walked off, called the police saying, hey, this guy jumped me, do you think there was a possibility he could maybe still be alive right now? Probably, yeah. Possibly. But those other two shots, you said into the head, that was basically taking his life at that point. Correct? Mm -hmm. Was that fair? Yeah, and if it really went the way that you claim that it went, then that would be legitimate self-defense. If he really pulled up with a gun and got out trying to fight you, and you started fighting him off, and then you grabbed his gun and shot him in the stomach, that still would constitute self-defense, I would think. You know what I'm saying? But once you grab the gun while dude land on the ground and go, yeah, you shouldn't come over and fuck with me. Bow, bow. And they, they keep saying, too. You saying you only shot him one time, like one once in the stomach, once in the head. They're saying you gave him two to the head. Legitimate execution style. So, bruh, yeah, man, that there wasn't no need for that. I know you felt like, oh, I don't want this dude to even have a... And see, he probably was trying to think ahead, like, I don't want this dude to even have a chance to come back and try to get me again or whatever. The story that he's telling is obviously false. Like, you know why this dude was trying to get... They probably had beef or some shit. I don't know, bruh. But all I'm saying is, man, you took this dude out on purpose and you're trying to lie your way out of it, bruh. You, you're cooked. Why did... Another issue I want to say, why it looks like on a video that you kind of, you know, like you guys are ready to fight, that you want. Why don't you just take off or oh, something like that? I'm not running from nobody. It's not running. Have you guys ever been in a fight before? Never. Mm -hmm. You guys never, and you guys grew up together and all this. Mm -hmm. Is it true about the girl? You having a falling out about the girl? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, huh. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know, bro. I ain't had no problem with it. No. Do you, you never have? Do you know who CR is? Yeah. Seems like that's a touchy subject for you, so I, I'll leave it alone. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of the reasons, man. Uh, this is crazy. So you don't even know what kind of gun you had in your hand. It was a nine millimeter, bro. How do you know that? Because I know my friend, bro. That was my friend. You hear me? That was my brother. You hear me? We was close. Well, that's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, How yeah. long? You, when did y'all fall out? Last month, right before my birthday, man. On my daughter's birthday. Okay. You don't even want to tell me why you found out. How we getting somewhere? They'll tell you, whoever it is. So I just take their word for it? I mean, like, listen here. I already told you what happened, and y'all don't believe that. Y'all thinking that I pulled a gun out on my waistline, and I had this zipped up the whole time. So I don't even know how y'all can Well, think like that. I said, I got to go back and look at the video yeah, very, man, very well. Y'all know, man. But I can tell you this. Okay. You said you got it from the car, the cup holder, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Even if you did... What you did wasn't necessary, bro. What do you think should happen to you? I don't know. You're probably going to put me in jail. 
Well, you're under arrest for murder. Yeah, I mean, I mean when, when it all shakes out, just because you go to jail, you can bond out tomorrow if you got bond money. You know what I'm saying? What do you he think happen? You ain't going to bond. I'm not sure. Given the same circumstances, would you do the same thing? But I do the same thing to what about what? Same circumstances happen. Say this didn't happen. You know now, given the same circumstance, would you have shot shot him, Curtis? Yeah, he ain't answer right away. Probably not, no. Why not? It wasn't necessary. Uh, I don't know. I'm lying to you. Yeah, I probably would have. Oh, wow. If I see somebody with a gun pointing it towards me or acting like they're going to do something with it, bro, if I get a hold to it, then that's their fault because they should have used it first. That's all I'm going to say, man. So, no, I'm not I'm not taking none of this back. And if it was a time to where this happened again, I would hope they would just shoot me first instead of letting me get a hold to their own gun. You know, I would hope. Okay. Uh, you got any other questions? Would you have shot the other two rounds if you had a time to do it again? No. You just shot the one. Okay. Well, at least he realized that he shouldn't huh? have did that part. Would you just shot the first round and been done? Or shot the other two rounds at the end if you had a chance. I don't know. It's probably just how I was feeling. I don't even know. I didn't even realize I was doing all that until after I did. Oh, so you blacked out. Kind of heated all right. Yeah. Uh, I understand here in a moment. I'm going to have my crime scene guys come but over nah, here. Bro. Uh, I want to document your injuries. You know what I'm saying? So You thought to do that. To document that there was a fight and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to collect your cell phone. I'm going to write a search warrant for it. I'll keep it with the case and make sure there's no messages and stuff in there. Uh and then you're going to go to jail tonight, and you'll get a bond and stuff like that. Uh, you get no bond. Is there anything else you'd like to ask or any questions or anything? You got any other questions? I don't have anything else. Uh, We're not going to get to see the footage, are we? Okay. Dominic, just hang tight, man. Uh, There's still five minutes left. hungry or anything like that? I can get you maybe some little snacks or something like that. You good? Uh, I'm at, the officer's going to be right there. So I'm trying to eat officer, right now. Be here, I'm so cooked. We'll, we'll see. We'll go from there, okay? I'm already cooked. They about to eat me. Can I call somebody? Shit. No, we, we don't allow calls. Unfortunately, we get in trouble for that. Damn. Do you want us to try to call somebody for you? No. Man, you ain't got nobody you want to let know that you... What, what, what's going on? The detective leaves the room. Then he returns 30 minutes later with video footage of the shooting. All right, I'm going to show this to you. Let me see. Let me see. Help me understand. They're not going to show us, bro. So we still don't have it enhanced or anything, but so this is y'all fighting, okay? Okay. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. Okay. Damn, man. I would love to Let see what they're looking at. What is he doing right there? He's in here. Okay. Where are you at on the car at this point? On the window. You're on the window? Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you just hanging onto the side of the door? Mm -hmm. Okay. At what point are you reaching in? Right there when you see me disappear. So you stick your whole head into the car? Mm hmm So you're basically, do you grab the gun with your left hand or right hand? Mm hmm So you're here. You, you don't know. Your with your right. Do you shoot? So I guess you come up. He's still hitting you? Mm-hmm. So you just take it. Like you you over getting puzzled. You just mm, 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 while reaching for the gun. Okay. Just play it. Just play it. Let me see. Let me see. But your head going in, though, that's where you're reaching in. Grab you don't want to look. You don't want to look. Okay. Right. You know you're cooked. I take some pictures of you, okay? You just stand over the cell. Got the photo, dude. <laughs> yeah. Can you put your hands up for me? They got that good camera. Put the loving for me. You know you're cooked, bruh. Like I said, you are flambéed, sautéed, deep fried, souffléed. Okay, turn and face that way. I was wondering if this damn logo that was right there was really on the whiteboard or not. It looked weird the whole time to me. I'm like, there's no way this is really on the whiteboard. And now that I'm, now that we're to this point, 
I'm just now realizing that the stuff over the video is the channel shit. Red Tree Crimes. I wouldn't even, I ain't even put it together till just now. I wouldn't think about it. You know what I'm saying? It's literally just this YouTube channel shit. It's like Watermark. Oh my gosh. But his Watermark is down there. Y'all get what I'm saying? That's hilarious. I wouldn't even think about it the whole time. So I need. Sit on the flow. In the end, Dominique would be charged with murder. Uh -huh. At first, he wanted to take the case to trial, but prosecution offered him a plea deal that he agreed to. Okay, what's that? In exchange for his guilty plea, you know what it is? Sentenced to 15 years oh. in prison. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this case. Damn. Based on the evidence provided, did Dominique act in self defense? No. If the first shot was self defense, what about the second and third shot? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. They gave that man a 15 year plea. So that means that if he would have went to trial and tried to fight it and would have lost, oh, he would have got more. He'd have got like probably 25, 30. I don't know what he would have got, bro, but they ain't tell us. But he would have got way more than 15 had he not. He took a plea for 15. He took a plea for 15. I mean, he would have got way more. If he would have tried it, he cooked his ass. For real this time now. Now we're actually gonna go. Go on, get up, go on, get up. Go on, get up. You gonna take a last sip of water before we toss that bottle? Mm, right. This is 2022. So he's gonna go ahead and put the handcuffs on you. But they're gonna go on the back side. So he ain't that motherfucker till at least so 2037. Uh, the palms touching is a whole lot more If he don't get out a little early for good behavior, you know what I'm saying? But he probably ain't. There you go. That's, that, I think there's like a, I don't know what the minimum yeah, is. I don't know if anybody's ever told you this before. If you've ever been in these lovely bracelets before. Handcuffs are an oval. Your wrists are an oval. Don't try to make a circle out of an oval because it will hurt. Okay. And we're going to double lock them so they don't get any looser or any tighter, right? Okay. All right. Well, that's pretty much what will do it for that one. Yeah, man, at the end of the day, Dude got into a fight with somebody that used to be his homie. Seemed like they probably had beef considering dude just pulled up to the crib trying to fight. They ended up in a fight. He shot dude in the stomach. They saying, he trying to say that it was all self-defense. Like, yo, this dude came over, attacked me, and I pretty much grabbed his gun. He should have had it, but he didn't. So I grabbed his gun and I shot him. And that's what it was. But nah, bro. It looks like they, they saying that he didn't grab the gun out of dude's car because there's no way during the scuffle that he could have reached up in that dude's car and grabbed the gun. But even if we grant you that, bro, even if we grant you that you grabbed his gun and shot him out of self-defense when he was attacking you, you shot him twice in the head while he was laying down, bro. You executed him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to understand that even in self-defense cases, it only goes so far. You have to use reasonable force to defend yourself up until the point in which you're able to escape from danger. Anything past that is no longer considered self-defense. If a burglar breaks in your house, I understand you have the right to shoot that burglar. If you, if someone breaks into your home and you have a gun for home defense and you shoot that motherfucker and kill him, then yeah, they'll just they'll still consider that self-defense. But if you shoot at the burglar and the burglar takes off running, he gets outside of your house and he's just he's sprinting down the street and you chase him outside your door and you keep shooting at him and you end up killing him. You might not get self-defense in, in some states. Some states you might still get it, but a lot of places you won't. Even though that dude broke in your house, he was running away. He was technically no longer a threat to you. You chased him and finished him off. You won't necessarily get self-defense. Again, that, that don't apply everywhere. States are different, bro. Some states are more lenient when it comes to self-defense. Some states are really strict. I guess it just depends on where you live at. So, you know, be careful when it comes to that. But this dude is cooked, flambéed, deep fried, sauteed. You gonna have to deal with that, bro. Shouldn't have lied. Try to lie, they got you on video. Once they, once they knew I had him on video, he ain't really have shit else to say. He was just like, damn, I'm cooked. I already know what's about to happen to me. Got this work. Hey, man, that's going to do it for this video, bro. Hey, I like, I like these videos, though. You know what I'm saying? So maybe we'll check out more by Red Tree Crimes, bro. I'm going to go ahead and drop a sub on the boy because I'm pretty sure he'll have more stories that'll be good for me to check out. So, uh, yeah, y'all should see some more content from Red Tree Crimes coming in the future. I'm going to go ahead and check some of these out, man. Make sure y'all show a lot of love to the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, we up out of this thing. It's your boy Darwin signing out. Hey. Let's go.